It's me, Andy, your calamity girl. And I'm here to clash your world. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to clash it. That's right. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for um, my notification to come in so I know that you guys can all see me. And here we go. And booty hula. <laughs> Hey, how's everybody today? Can you hear me okay? Let me know. I don't know what five by five means. So you can do that if you want, but I wouldn't have a clue what it means. Hi. Ashley, who are you? How are you, honey? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me turn my phone so we don't have flying phones anymore. I'm not allowed to do that. I got, in, I got a little talking to about that. <laughs> okay. Oh, let me get some water. Oh, gosh, darn. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Because you were the first to tell me, I'm going to say, um, stay in the car. Don's in charge. Just a moment. <laughs> you guys, you should see the hookup that I had, the contraption I have for you guys, um, for the camera to sit up higher. With my, my, um, Thing got delayed. And so, um, uh, Don, thank you for watching the car for me. I'm going to have the Sprite as we talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't have caffeine because caffeine jacks me up. So, oh, so your surroundings are loud here. I don't know what you do for work, honey. What do you do for work? Cian, happy Saturday to you. Cian, did you skip a day and not know it? <laughs> yes, like, like I told everybody, I thought I would come um, crashing in, clashing. I did that purpose, purposely. And um, I actually, I hate this shirt. I hate it. <laughs> but I'm wearing it, and I love it at the same time. Because um, my friend, um, who my dog Scratchy, I have no idea. <laughs> you know what, Sian? My, when I was flying, I never knew what day of the week it was. I just knew what day of the trip I was on. Half the time, I didn't know what city I was in, and I just knew where I was going to end up. I can't tell you how many times I welcomed people to the wrong city. Mm -hmm. One time, I welcomed this. I was um, going to um, Reagan National Airport. And I was the lead that day, so I had to do all the um, announcements and stuff. And, yeah, of course, we had a couple congressmen flying with us and stuff. Well, I, I welcomed us to Rochester, New York. <laughs> and I thought that I was in Rochester, New York, because I, it was on my, <laughs> it was on my um, schedule. <laughs> and so... Then next thing you hear all the bing, 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 the lights going off. And then the proverbial phone call that only the flight attendants can pick up. And everybody wants to know what's being said on there. Did you know you can eavesdrop on those? <laughs> you can. Um, anyway, um, I've had it done plenty of times to me. Hey, May, there's my girl. We're joined at the hip. April, May. Uh, okay. And and so um, I had to make, you know, some apologies. And uh, I when the letter <laughs> um, reached my supervisor faster than we landed, <laughs> I tell you, um, when I got to um, my layover, I had a message waiting for me to call her. No, uh, so I just told her, I said, I said, dude, you flow in the air too. So, um, you know what it's like to be tired and having back to back six leg days, 14 hour days every day. And, um, I was just, I was in the wrong, wrong frame of mind. So, you know, if you say you've never made a mistake, then, um, then I will say I've never made a mistake. And that's how I handled that because, you know, I did not like my supervisor. Um, I think, uh, oh, oh, someone's saying hi to you. 
Sherlock, hooty who to you. I haven't met you, Sherlock. At least in this platform or in this room, I haven't met you. Uh, nice to see you. Dark watch. Uh, you know what? I just thought it just dawned on me. Dark watch. You're watching from the back in the dark. Got it. You're lurking. Yeah, I got that. Mary Miles, Ashley, Don S. Let's see who's all in here. Sherlock. I want to know a little more about Sherlock. Let's all ask about how Sherlock's doing. MC and PC. Good day to you. Who do who? <laughs> it's very nice to meet you, Sherlock. Um, so did I finish my story? Because I'm a lot like Jacob from Dad's Gone Life, where he is, um, uh, he's everywhere. Oh, gosh, you guys, this was funny. Okay, the other night. So Jacob was in some parking lot about, you know, ready to either, I can't remember if he was going to order food or if he was going to um, do something else. And so he saw me and he said, who do you calamity? And they had, he and Ashley were just in my, my um, little show that day. And, and then um, he says, okay, I want every one of you. And then he got distracted. And I was like, no, Jacob, finish that sentence. Finish it, finish it. Please. But I couldn't say anything. So I just sat there and waited and waited. And he never came back to it. And I thought, oh, my gosh, that's what people must think about me. They, I never come back to it. Hey, you guys, will you hit the like button for me if you haven't already? That would, That's really helping me a lot. I, I'm working really hard to get this channel up to a 1,000 people. Okay, well, here's my caveat. I have to say my caveat and then we'll get going. Um, I have multiple sclerosis and I struggle a lot with my, um, my legs and my ankles, my feet. And, but I mostly struggle with my, um, <laughs> oh, oh, it's never boring. Okay. Thank you, Ashley. Uh, hey, Josh, who do you, how are you? Oh my gosh. I got to finish my caveat. So. I have a hard time when I'm when I get tired of communicating and I I pause a lot. And when I pause I say, um, I don't mean to. Please don't count on me for those of you who know what that means. When Damon starts counting on the um guy. <laughs> you know, but that's not me, please. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, thank you for hitting that like button, y'all. That's really cool. Okay, let me see. Edward, hello to you. It's good to see you in here. Hootie hoo to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Take a drink of my Sprite. Um, Tom Brady's in here. Holy cow. Tom Brady, I have had you on a flight. <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah. Okay, let me see who I'm missing. My gosh. This is great. I, mean, I love new people. See, here's my, whoops, I dropped it. I dropped things. <laughs> I just inadvertently dropped things, you guys. Oh, I was going to tell you, I hate this shirt. It's so not me. But my little dog scratching. He, oh, oh, hold on. He, um, where I got him from, my friend, one of my friends who passed away, um, he was her service dog and I had this in my closet and I just I couldn't get rid of it uh, because I just couldn't I took everything from hers it's a long story but anyway so I took this shirt and I thought you know maybe someday I'll wear that well this is the first game we're coming up on three years <laughs> okay um let me see how we're going okay who's in here Morna who do who do you Josh Hopkins Good to see you. Good to see you. Carla! Carla is in the house. I love me some Carla. Diana, Morna, Sherlock. I want to know more about Sherlock. Edward. Edward, I've seen you. I, I was with you last night in, um, I can't remember if it was Dad's Con Live or LAOC. Uh, let's see. Um... Ashley, May, uh, we're joined at the hip, April, May, um, Josh, gosh, I didn't know Tom Brady was in here, 
care of flight attendants. No, yes, Ashley, I was a flight attendant. Uh, and I feel like that's so scary to think about that. But the pay must be wonderful. Okay, Ashley, right now the pay is decent. When I was flying, the pay sucked. But you know what? I didn't do it for the pay. I did it for the benefits because I had a travel bug in me and I had to fly around the world. I had I had the thing where I had to put every both feet on each continent. And I did that except for Antarctica. So uh, and then after that, shortly after I was able to uh, um, do that, then um, uh, I had my accident and I got sick. So, hey, Frank is in here. Hootie who, Frank? You're off until the 6th. I still remember that. <laughs> um, Carla, love us. We love us and Carla. I'm doing laundry too, Carla. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah. Edward, where did I see you last night? Wasn't it in Dad's or LAOC? I can't remember. Um, I know I remember seeing you, though. Are you talking smack about Patriots? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We can't be doing that. We can't be talking smack about anybody. <laughs> Um, no, no smack, no smack. Um, let's see. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I'm sure one of my moderators will end up coming in. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Hold on, Edward. You're a nice boy. You're a nice boy. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, Edward. Thank you for joining us. This is really nice. I'm looking for what you said because I don't know if it's a joke. Um, uh, Carla, hey. Uh, oh, I don't see it. I just don't see it. Oh, well. Um, it's so good to have you here. It's so good to have all of you here. Thank you. You guys want to make some bread? Okay. Well, guess what? Calamity was out of bread this morning. Um, oops. Okay, calamity was out of bread this morning. My husband said, I'd like a sandwich. So I said, fine, I'll do it, I'll make it. And I thought, you know what, I'll just do it with everybody because I have more fun that way. Yeah, we're playing. Okay, oh, I'm so good you're playing. I thought you were. Edwards is a Jets fan. Just, oh, okay, I thought you meant like Patriots, like, um, Politically, ah, yeah. oh boy, <laughs> what a moron I am. <coughs> oh, I can't do that. I was shooting in the air, not that. Moving on. YouTube, I didn't know. Give a girl a break. Okay, it's entertaining today. <laughs> I just tell stories. Yeah, uh, paid the New England paid calamity. <laughs> Thank you for um. Uh, keep throwing me in the loop with um, the football players because I don't play football. I've never been interested in football. I don't even know what a, um, uh, anything besides a touchdown is, really. Uh, you guys, you guys, here we go. Bread. Talk about bread. Several different types of bread, and you use different types of flowers for it. For sandwich bread, we're going to stick with bread flour or double zero flour, okay? And um, I don't have a, a thing of it right now, but um, Caputo, C-A-P-U-T-O, sells a really, makes a terrific bread flour. And it uh, you can get it on Amazon easily. And it's made in Italy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I use. I love it. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, next important item. Oh my gosh, don't tell me it's happening. Carla, I'm apologizing to you in advance. I feel a hot flash coming on. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Hey, Shauna, what up? <laughs> Mary, Mary. I feel a song coming on. Mary, Mary, what you going through? Mary, Mary, what you going through? I bet you don't remember that song. 
because I just made it up. <laughs> oh, Mary, what are you working on for your crocheting? Uh, okay. You're in the corner all by yourself in here. Oh, well, you know, um, my daddy was born and raised in Burlington, Vermont. I can sing it. And he's no longer with us, and he was a Patriots fan. So if I had to choose, I'll say Patriots. Yeah. And because I was based in Minneapolis, I'll say a Vikings fan. You know, I did a couple charters with Vikings. That was fun. Okay. Take your bowl. Your strainer. Okay. Or your sifter. Either one. Um, okay, my mama likes the chargers. Don't be don't be mucking on the chargers. I'm just defending my mama. Okay. Now we always put let me let me put the camera down a little. See if okay. Hold on, guys. I, I have to, I have you sitting on top of a sewing machine. <laughs> okay, hold on. This worked earlier. Dear Lord, help me. Someone give the girl a break. Okay, well, this is what you're going to get. So I hope that it works. Um, Monday will be much better because, well, Tuesday, because Monday afternoon the thing arrives. And then Tuesday, you know, I'll be able to um, be a little bit more presentable. Uh, oh, he did. What did he do for them? Was he a water boy? Mm -hmm. Was he a water boy? Uh, the Los Angeles Chargers. I thought they were San Diego Chargers. When did that? When did they move? Did they move? Oh, nobody told me. Okay, so we're moving on. And I'm just going to put like. I don't know, four big scoops, four big cups, okay, one at a time. Otherwise, it'll go everywhere. Don't ask me how I know that one either. You want to use your sifter because um, you want the, the flour to be light and airy, light and airy, okay? Ashley? I can't find it's in the uh, mess of boxes that we have downstairs, but your sift or your um, mixer is somewhere down there. And as soon as I get to it, um, it's coming your way. Okay. Another one. Boom. Right in there. And it causes it to be nice and airy. And plus, um, you won't run the chance of having any lumps in your in your dough. You don't want it lumps in your dough when you're when you're baking bread. Okay. And it really does make a nicer bread. Um oh the Rams are in Los Angeles, huh? Um first they they were in St. Louis. Now they're back in LA. See my dad way back when I think it was um I had to be in the nineties, I think. He had season tickets to the Rams, and I went to a couple games with him, and all the men around me were focused in with their binoculars on the game, but really on the cheerleaders. No joke. <laughs> it was kind of funny. <laughs> yes. And so um, uh, I'm not my dad. My dad didn't do that. I don't know if he did or not. I like to think he didn't because it's kind of gross to think about if he did. <laughs> okay. I can't remember if that's number three or number four that I put in there. Oh, boy. Is that number three or number four that I put in there? It looks like this is number four. I think this is number four. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, he had nice season tickets. It was fun. I went to a few games with him. And he went, he had all these season tickets, like a big, a big block with them. You know, he was L.A. County um, deputy sheriff. And he and a whole bunch of them bought, like, 
you know, a bunch of season tickets together. And so, you know, they all, you know, wore their blue and gold and, you know, they all had their Brock of beers on, you know, those stupid hats with stick a couple beer cans in it, <laughs> you know, you sip it up. I mean, they had it all. They had it all. And then um, I remember after my dad died, he gave um, us some of those, remember those old um, jackets? That, well, like in the 80s, we, uh, uh, the, the kids would wear them, you know, for their favorite sports teams. It'd be like shiny and everything like that. I didn't know that those were collector's items now. Hmm. Who would have known? Okay. Well, nobody's keeping up on which um, one I'm on. So let's just go for one more. Why not? <laughs> okay. And we'll just have to mix it a little longer. That's it. There's really no measurements to it, you guys. Um, because what I do is I plan on making a couple loaves, putting one in the fridge or one in the freezer, and then one we'll use. Uh, you you can freeze them up to six months. Yeah, and then they will because they don't have any preservatives in them. It will stay for about um, maybe really good and fresh about three or four days. Yeah. So uh, I'll tell you what I do with uh, with what we don't use. Um, I keep the breadcrumbs. Okay. We'll get to that. Should we talk about it now or get to it later? We should talk about it now and get our stuff done. <laughs> sure, I want to hear something funny. <laughs> okay. Redmond salt. We all know how I feel about Redmond salt. Hold on, that reminds me, I need to grab something. Okay. I was trusting you all because Carla was in charge. She just didn't know it. <laughs> okay, here we go. First, before we talk about the salt, we're going to talk about the yeast. Okay. The yeast goes into the water, which is um, at a tepid temperature. It's about, that's like 108 to 111 degrees. So, um, and that's when the yeast will become activated. Any hotter than that, you're going to kill it. Yeah. And so, um, oh my, I'm just warning you. A husband went to the store. The dogs are on watch for him. When they see him come around the corner, they will start howling. I know. So I'll throw him outside then. Okay. Okay. How are you today, mate? Mm -hmm. Let's get our girl to a... Oh, let's please get me to a thousand subs. I would just love it. Throat your job is white and blonde like myself. And she took a DNA test and it came back. 2% Puerto Rican and 5% Korean. Okay. So now she wears Puerto Rican flag shirts and stuff. All right. <laughs> I guess. You know. Okay. I like to put a little bit of extra yeast into here. Um, you know, I put like a tablespoon and a half, you know, somewhere around there. Eh, maybe a little bit more. You know, you can't, you can over yeast it. So don't go hog wild crazy nuts. Don't ask me how I found out that either. Um, or you can under yeast it. I like to just kind of give it a good mix. Okay. And yeah, about like that. The water smells nice and yeasty. It's good. Okay. Um, but, okay. Set it aside. Let it just sit there for a few minutes. Your flour. Back to your flour. Oh, Carlos. Oh, we've got to fill this in. I found stuff in my DNA that I never knew. You know what? I'm afraid to do my DNA. I'm just going to trust my parents. <laughs> oh, hi, Noodles. Yes, this is a nice girl. I can't pet you because then I have to go wash my hands. I love you very much, Noodles. No, you're not going outside. No. I just washed you. Okay. I'm still waiting for her to go to Spanish Harlem. Oh, my gosh. And the Bronx and wave that flag. 
She would be asking for a death sentence really fast. Mm-hmm. So she only identified as Puerto Rican, Asian American now. Okay, let's talk about that for a second. These stupid, pro- I'm sorry, if you identify yourself by a pronoun, I think that's dumb. You're not a pronoun. You're a male or a female or a homorphodite. Choose from one of them because that's what we are. But, my gosh, you know, I I, I, I was listening to a clip from the um, lady who's on the Supreme Court, the, the black woman. She's the first black woman to be on the Supreme Court. Which is a big deal. However, she doesn't know how to identify a woman. Uh, I'm serious. And um, so she started talking different pronouns. Lost me there, lady. (laughs) And so I was gone. Okay, we'll move on. Girl, what are you doing? But you're like 70%, 75% Irish. I know. I know I am. And um, I'm Irish and French. And um, there's got to be some other European mixed in there. Okay. Um, yeah, Mary, thank you for agreeing. Okay. Um, I'll move on. I'll move on because I don't want to. Oh, thank you, Carla. Hi. <laughs> Because I don't want to um, make this a political channel by any means. I don't want that. Okay, so here we go. All right. Your yeast needs to be fed. I know that that sounds weird, but it does. It's like a pl- like plants. You um, when you you know you water your plant, it grows. But plants need to be fed too. Okay, same thing. Um, yeast is an organism, right, Carla? And organisms need to be fed. Okay. Um, Irish, Welsh, French, and English here. Nice. Nice. Husband is um, Jewish, Scottish. And there's got to be a little bit more European in there somewhere. Okay. This is not all we feed, though, but this is all we're going to talk about for this a second. So, a few pinches, okay? Redmond salt is best, in my opinion. Um, Himalayan salt, if you don't have that, the pink salt. Um, the, the white eye dye salt, oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know about that. It just doesn't have that great of a taste to it, you know? I think that should be left for um, uh, the roads. (laughs) Um, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, Don F is half German, half Italian. (gasps) There you go. Carla, there's your German. Um, I'm afraid it will come back like 2%. Right? It it probably would, yeah. I don't know what I am. Sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I don't. I feel a song coming on. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Um, and Joyce got nuts. Mounds don't because. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. How about that, Edward? You weren't expecting that out of the comedy. Now, were you? Okay, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Hey, hey. Stop it. Stop it right now. Stop it. This is ridiculous. No. No, Scratchy. Noodles. No. No. Get down. Gracie, knock it off. Oh, my God. Uh, no barking. No. I hope I don't have to. I have to be a mom again. I, 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 I. No, 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 no. Let him pop. No, you guys are not getting out. I'm not giving you showers again. Gracie, do you want to go to the moon? Okay. All right. Pardon the interruption. Take two. 
Okay. Um, yes. Hoo-hoo, true Montour. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, so um, um, did I surprise you with um, breaking out in song with um, Almond Joy and Mound? Because I'm 52. I'm a 70s and 80s kid. I know how that commercial goes. Okay, so we threw in the Redmond salt. Now we still have to feed it because with baking, baking is a science. Right, Carla? And so everything has to balance out. So what's the opposite of savory? Sweet. We need white sugar. Just regular white old sugar. If you have natural sugar, you can use that too. I don't have any of that on hand. So I'm going to use just a few pinches, okay, because I want to just, I just want to offset the salt, okay? And so we're going to have a little bit of a calamity in here. Dear God, the dogs are going to go. Don't be racist, white sugar. <laughs> hey, hi. Hey, Giraffe, nice to see you. I did. Was waiting for you to dance. Oh, well, I was, wait, I almost broke out and danced, but, you know, I'm kind of afraid of myself today. You know, I'm, I'm a little bit off balance. Um, so that happens with MS. Um, Oh, dear God, could you imagine if I had to take a sobriety test? I don't drink. I haven't drank a lick in like 16 years, 15, 16 years. And, um, but I could not close my eyes and have lift a foot. I'd be over. They had those bracelets on me fast. Yes. Uh, am I missing some of the chats? Um, oh, I just... Well, uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna wash my hands, Carla, because I just wiped my my little nose because I like had some itch me. I can't help it. I'm washing. Carla keeps me really on top of this because she is a um, restaurant hygienist um, extraordinaire. I don't know the exact title, but I know that, that that's a pretty good example. And uh, so she keeps me on task for everything. Don't you, Carla? <laughs> okay. Love me some Carla. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. A lot of us are off balance. Thank you, Edward. I appreciate that. Uh, oh, my gosh. Morna, what are you doing up? It's 3 a.m. Only the calamity and true Montour are up and Lisa Folk at that hour. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Let me get some of this over to the side. Then we can really start working here. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do this. I forgot to. Oh, no. I can use it. Okay. Now, I use ghee. I love ghee. Um, ghee is everything I am about. So, you know, ghee off. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm not even reading my French chats here. What's going on with that? Okay. Calamity. My husband told me he would rather me watch your live stream. People drive around on the road. Oh, that's so nice. You know what? I like, well, I just hate when we're just driving for nothing. I get bored with that. That's when I start gambling on Streamlabs. I do. And then, um, <laughs> Drew, what are you doing up? My goodness. Uh, what is both of you doing up? Uh... That's nice. Say hello to your husband for me. That's very nice. Okay, so let's just take a little, um, a little doohickey and stir this around. Oh, my little doohickey. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was trying to be so careful not to flub up, and I flubbed some out of the bowl. Hi, husband. How may I help you? Oh my goodness. Do you need help? Jordan is downstairs. 
Postman is in need of a little assistance at the moment. But he said I can continue on with my show. So I shall. Are you are you seriously uh, are you okay? I I said seriously said I was just at saying I'm asking for a second time. I'm bothering him. He just gave me the look like Yeah. I drive my husband nuts sometimes. I don't know if you knew that. Okay. So Oh, okay, yeah. Um, let's see. John F. Good job. I'm listening. Number. Uh, oh, drink. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Good job. Good job, Don. We're okay, Giraffe. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. But see, I did. I did all. I, I cleaned everything before he even came home. So, I mean, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, would you all hit the like button for me, please? I would really love that. Okay. Now, this is what you do. Next step. Ashley, are you still with us? Okay. And Diana, I think it was Diana who said that she's never made a dough or any bread or anything like that before. Well, today's your lucky day, sister. Okay, so we're putting like a little tavern in the middle of there, okay? That it will, you know what I mean, okay. It does, it goes both ways in our home too. Um, okay. In lieu of some olive oil, I'm going to be using ghee, okay? And then the ghee, um, you just talk to the like, thank you. Thank you, Giraffe. Um, as we know, whoever doesn't know what ghee is, it's clarified butter, basically. And uh, I make it, and um, it's much, much, much healthier for you because everything is taken out of it. Um, it's except for that you have the oil left, which is the clarified butter. Yeah. So no bread in the house. Sounds like the story of my life. Hooray! Heidi, who to you, sir? Sherlock, what are you doing? You're doing a great job. Thanks for showing us. Sherlock, have you been a lurker? Okay, you're a lurker. Now I know more about Sherlock. True ghee. Is that your unsalted ghee? Hey, you remember. Yes, it, as a matter of fact, it is my unsalted ghee because I have put salt in the mixture. So, good good observation. Very proud of you. <laughs> Mary. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is great. So, I'm, like, I'm going to put, like, I'm going to say a quarter cup. Okay, and this will give the bread the oil that it needs, you know, to um, keep it moist. You know, it it needs a, a moisture content. I can. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I can. Um, Mr. Um, Mr. McCusick thinks I could do stand up. Husband says, stand up what? <laughs> Did you hear me? He says, well, you have problems standing. <laughs> I don't put salt on anything. I'm doing the recipe that calls for it. Okay. Uh, when you do bread, when you're baking, you must do salt. And so I push the red salt because, uh, truthfully, I found that it's the healthiest. Yeah, with all the minerals and every and the natural salt that comes out of it, I found that to be the best. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. But you know, giraffe, this is your choice. You, I'm, I'm not telling you have to do it. It's your choice. Okay. <laughs> Husband says do it. Okay. Now, 
what we're going to do. That's all we need for the bread. And I think Ashley's gone. Goodbye, Ashley. Goodbye. Goodbye. Who, who can name that from? Okay, that's a show tune. Who can name the show? Goodbye. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. Okay. I feel like I'm tap dancing in the sixth grade. Okay, here we go. A little bit. Uh, Sound of Music, you got it. Okay, I love that movie. Okay. Um, a little bit of your yeast water will go into here. And, you know, just enough, you know, not to go crazy or anything like that. And I take, I... I like to give it a pre-mix by hand first. And what I'm doing is I'm scraping the sides of the bowl and I'm bringing it in. Scraping the sides and bringing it in. And that will nicely get it um, up from the bottom and to the top, you know. And I'm doing this because I don't want a bigger mess than I'm already making. <laughs> uh, well... You should hear my last name. My last name is, is really jacked up. The only time someone says my last name correctly is if I'm in Eastern Europe. Seriously. So I get it. And my last name is exactly as it's written. It sounds, it's exactly as it's written. It sounds exactly as it's written. Holy mackerel. That should not come out of anybody's mouth. Um, but so, Edward, I figured that yours um, was just like mine. <laughs> there are two things I don't need is salt and sugar. Okay. Yes, I understand that. But when you're making bread, yeast has got to be fed. And so you need a little bit of the salt and sugar. Um, otherwise, your yeast isn't going to... Um, Perform to its maximum capability. It'll be a weak yeast because you didn't feed it. Yeah, and your your bread will really taste like just um, wet flour, basically. Um, yeah, something with Judy Garland. <laughs> Nah, I don't. I don't have any Julie uh, Judy tunes except for with um, Wizard of Oz. Yeah, I can do Wizard of Oz, and I can do. Um, <laughs> hey, <laughs> Cloudy Day, how are you doing, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. Mike, he's kind of here. He's also playing the video game. Mike is a big gamer. Big gamer. Um. My son was born in the early 90s, and he's 30 years old now. And gaming is like everything. It's calming to him. And so I find that kind of strange. But, um, you know, whatever works. Okay. Everything is mixed in. Kind of nice to where I'm not going to make a mess with the thing. Dragon, how you doing, love? <laughs> Oh, gosh, can you guys hit that like button like you just did? Never mind, I won't go to, I'll just go back to sleep. Okay, when you're using your mixer, this is the hook you want to use. This is the dough hook. And basically what this does is it picks the dough from the bottom and brings it up the top and flops it over. And it keeps doing the same thing over and over. It saves you a lot. So let me, let me hook it up. I can see you all. I'm still in the I'm still in the car. <laughs> okay, I'm still in the car. Let me put this here. I take a sip of my water. I might sprite, I mean. <laughs> God, I'm glad you're doing good. Good to hear. Okay. Mixer. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to keep adding water to this, okay? Carla's a big gamer, too. Yes, Carla's a big gamer. 
Hey, Ashley, if you're in here, is Jacob a gamer? Are you and Jacob gamers? My friend, um, uh, Cindy Jams, I call her Cindy Jams because in the 80s, she was a big time rocker. And so uh, I've replaced her last name with Jams. And so Cindy Jams. Uh, you know what? True couldn't be more awesome as a moderator. Could she? You can sing happy birthday to Carla on the, what? Well, of course I'll sing happy birthday on this um, summer solstice to Carla. <laughs> People are going to be really used to work in the kitchen. It's so nasty at the end of every shift in my undershirt. It means to be tragic. <laughs> okay, you guys, look at how this dough hooks. Oh, I well, I'm going to have to now. Yeah, I'm committed. Okay, you see how that dough hook works? It's bringing everything from the bottom and it goes to the top. Let's see. Is it supposed to be bouncing up? Like yes, it is. It's fine. It's just fine bouncing up like that. Um, Mike is playing Diablo 4. You know what, True? Why don't you go take a nap? Mm -hmm. True is wonderful. She is wonderful, and she's becoming a wonderful friend, too. So you guys see how this is working? And I'm not going to add any more water. No more, no more water. So that's just going to go down the drain. Okay, and it's coming to a beautiful consistency. And so that's how it's going to go. So hang on, let me stick it back up on the sewing machine. I just, oh, she just got up. No wonder she's a little wakey wakey. Um, wakey wakey. And for some of our friends, they, they get up in the morning and they just start baking. Yeah. Um, unless you go to the, oh yeah because Carly you have the portable machine yeah so this is going to go on for a total of about five minutes again dough is very sensitive and you can't overwork it and when you overwork it it becomes hard and stiff uh, in the end product and that's not what we're looking for so um, it's coming it's to the to the consistency exactly what I want. Um, oh, okay. Um, I don't. Think, I think we use tied or something like that. Tied off between or something. I have I don't know. Okay. Now. You understand how the dough hook works? It's pretty cool. A lot of people don't know what that is, and they're like, "What?" And so this is our deal. Okay, now I'm just taking it out because I'm gonna get my little my my little brush. Okay, and um oh, what's pretty too, Don? Um, let's see the. I, oh, I, I missed it. But yes, it's a very beautiful dough. It just it turns out really nice. And just the look at the stretch of it. With um, AP dough or all-purpose dough flour, you wouldn't be able to do that. Um, so I'm, I have a bread maker that cooks all. Yes, I understand. I have one too. You can use this in your dough make, in your bread maker too. Same recipe. Yeah, um, so I'm okay. I answered that question. I love my mixer. I love it, and it's KitchenAid are awesome. They are the bomb. dot com. Most people my age don't know how to use an iron properly. Most people your age don't know how to do a lot of things properly, Cart, because they don't even know if they're a boy or a girl. Okay. That's enough of a, little, a little bit of ghee. Okay. What? What are you using ghee for now? 
Okay, I am going to brush it inside of inside of here so that I um, I don't want you don't ever want your dough to go um, dry to dry out bad bad juju. Okay, uh, huh. Cat Harvey, uh, Cat Harvey, what up? I was looking for you last night. And I finally saw you. And after I said, Cat Harvey, what if I fell asleep, you guys? I waited so long for Have Jeremy to come out with LAOC TV. And I fell asleep. Yes. And then I love it when he and XM get together. Because I just love their little banner back and forth. And they're just really good for each other. Okay, so now I've got that all... Um, you know, the inside, yeah, <laughs> and then I, I can't think of the word. Now, dough, goes, boom, right in here, plop, and yes, you can throw your dough at that if you want, <laughs> okay, Cat Harvey, what up, how you doing, does everybody know the, the story about Cat Harvey, what up, <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you the story if you already heard it, but just think of something else. I'm telling this. Okay, first time. Okay, I was in LAOC. First time I was in on his stream. Cat Harvey was in there. And he was, um, uh, Jeremy, you know how it goes down the list and acknowledges everybody. And he said, um, first thing he said is, uh, Cat Harvey, what up? And, you know, Kevin Bacon, what up? True Munter, what up? You know, Cloudy Day, what up? Edward uh, McCusick, what up? And it, it, it was like that. Well, ever since, I see, whenever I hear or see Cat Harvey, I always think Cat Harvey, what up? So that's, that, how, that's how that came about. Okay. Now, as this dough, we're going to set it aside and let it rise. Okay. And so we're going to cover it with saran wrap so cover your your bowl with saran wrap so that and no air can escape or get in there all right and so i um i just go you know i do double duty because i just have had bad right before and bad good stuff okay so Cover it up. Set it in a place that it tends to get be warm. Okay? In here. Tends to be warm. And what I'm going to do anyway is I'm going to slightly preheat my oven so that it will keep it nice and warm in here. Okay? And I've been in the car the whole time. I've been able to see you. See, I've got an arm in here. So um, I'm just going to heat this oven right up to 250 degrees. And I'm gonna let it sit there until it doubles in size. And that might take about 15 minutes. So, okay, now let me um, catch up with the Kevin Bacon. How could who to you and Mrs. Bacon? Hello from the Bacons, oh. We don't want, oh, <laughs> thank you, letting us know you're our lurkers. Love our lurkers. Aren't you on Elias and not guys done live soon? Okay, I figured that was probably where, yep. Yeah. And uh, Edward, where did we meet? Was it Dad's Gone Live or um, AOC, uh, AXN or LAOC? It was one of them. Uh, everyone loves Kevin and Rhonda. No, I have to go back and see what you wrote. Let me see. Hold on, Carla. Okay, at work, I I had a, to card someone because of alcohol. Female. After I confirmed she was 22, I was PRD, miss, and she went off. Don't assume my gender. Oh, my gosh. I can't handle. I just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. can't handle that. I'm old school. I grew up, I'm a 70s and 80s kid, and that's just how it goes. Okay, oh, let's see. 
Um, Karee, Karee, Karee. Let me see if I can have a song with Karee. No, I don't have a song with Karee, but I know one that's similar, and it's in my head. So, Karee, don't like it. Mm -mm. Rock the Casbah, rock the Casbah. Karee, don't like it. Mm -hmm. Rock the Casbah, rock the Casbah. Okay, who sings that <laughs> besides me? Uh, hey, who do who at you? How are you? Uh, oh, restaurants, really, that is a hard business. The class, you got it. You got it, true, Montour. Montour. 80s music does work. But you know what? 70s does, too. You know what? What I like about 70s music, I like the the folk music from there. Like, I love, okay, my very favorite is Jerry Rafferty. Love me some Jerry Rafferty. And um, uh, who's the other guy I love, husband? Oh, he's in the potty. Um, who's the guy that sings about the, um, you know, the big ship that went down in Lake Superior? Um, oh, gosh. <laughs> Thanks, reminder. <laughs> okay. Back to my watching. This is Thank you. It's awesome. Bread making. We have some time to chill, so I need to sit. There. Whoa. I need to take advantage of um, my time. I can take breaks. Because we already told the, the spoon story. Okay, hold on. See, if you saw everything I'm holding right now, you would say, Calamity, what are you doing? Because obviously you're Calamity. Okay. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Yes, the seventies. Let's go back. Yeah, you know, and um, Gordon. Thank you, Gordon Lightfoot. Love me some Gordon Lightfoot. And husband, who's the one that sings? Um, uh. Uh, you know, he plays the sax. They have the saxophone a lot, and it's Baker Street. Jerry Rafferty sings Bacon, Baker Street. Okay, I feel a song coming on. Winding your way down on Baker Street. Winding your way and you're dead on your feet like me. What another crazy day. Your, your dreams have gone away and you forget about everything. Okay, that's it. I love that song. Uh, <laughs> Born Lightfoot, yeah, I completely agree. Let's let's go back to the seventies, yeah. Um, Seals and Croft, America. Oh yeah, America was great. You know who else was great with Boston and Kansas? I really liked them. Uh, that is a great song. Mm, couldn't remember his name. So, okay, Mary Miles, this is for you. And you know what? I loved this song when I was a little kid. Oh, great. Sorry about this. Hold on, hold on. If sundown, you better take care. If I find you've been creeping round my back stairs. Sundown, you better take care. Oh, <laughs> Nanya, we're we're taking a break and we're having karaoke time. <laughs> it is a great song, isn't it? Oh man, um, you're popping and say hootie who. I'm glad you did, Nanya. You know how much I love you. Um, yeah, Gordon Lightfoot, man. Oh, he has some awesome songs. And uh, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Come, Mary. We all know how um, dumb I am. <laughs> so I guess I'm exploiting myself a little bit, aren't I? Uh, 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 oh, Kansas. Yeah, okay, I got to get that in my mind. Help me get it. Help me get a Kansas song and I'll sing it for you. Mary, I will sing it for you. Noodles? I'm not washing your feet. You'll have to stay out because 
Um, you guys, whenever my dogs go out, I wash their feet when they come back in because, um, oh, Steely Dan. Oh, okay, we'll break out into some Steely Dan. But I got it for Mary. I got to get that song. Carry on, carry on, wayward son. Hold on. I can't get the tune in. Ah. When I get the tune, it's for you. Okay, let's see. Oh, yes, he just died. Rest in peace. Short change. Hootie hoo to you. Are you a lurker? Mm -hmm. We're um, taking a break because, oh, dust in the wind. I remember that from third grade. Oh, dust in the wind. <laughs> Mary, I can't get the tunes in my head. My son, my son used to play on guitar all the time because it's a great guitar song. Ah, okay, I'll get it. I'll, I'll live as soon as I get there. Mm. The real Gigi. Hello, who do who do you? You guys, we haven't done a wave. All we are, all we are is dust in the wind. That's right. Um, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay, so let's have our wave, everybody. Hi, everybody. And then for those who are over 50, don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. You can do it. Come on. Wave that bat wing. Come on. <laughs> I love that. Oh. Turn to Boston. Yeah, Boston's awesome. <laughs> I'm old. You're not old, man, yet. You're not a ton older than I am. Uh. Kansas was actually a Christian band. Were they really? I didn't know that. I had no idea about that. Hmm. Yeah, thanks. Hey, 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 everybody's got their wave. I love it. I love seeing the waves back. This is great. Ah, hey, Cat Harry, what up? The real Gigi, Mary Miles, Morna Slocum, uh, the true Montour. Um, uh, Edward McCusick isn't going to wait. He's on protest. That's cool. Sherlock. <laughs> who do? <laughs> Curry is not going to wait because he is on um, uh, protest along with Edward. That's cool. <laughs> you guys, I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing with you. I'm a nice girl. Yeah. Kevin Bacon is waving. He's waving his bacon, man. That man is... That man is pure gold right there. Congratulations to you, Rhonda. Mm -hmm. Morna. Cat Harvey, what up? Speaking of bread, one of my all-time favorite groups, Bread, along Little River Band. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I know all these songs. Uh, uh, pulling out some classics. Yeah. Let's see. There you go, Don F. Yeah. Your pizza last night. It was probably one of the best I've made. I have to say it was it was top notch. <laughs> I love all these bands. Can you hear me singing with you? Absolutely singing to please sing to me. I love to be sung to I I've never been serenaded before. Never. Uh Okay, let's see. That's right. We're going into the cobwebs. Uh, I'm definitely over 50. My brain is 14 and my body is 100. Edward, I'm right there with you. I'm so right there with you. I still think that, like, I can do everything. No problem. Let me have at it. And my, well, because my MS is really advancing now, my um, fine motor skills are gone, but I still think I can thread a freaking needle. Uh, <laughs> hey, you're all serenading me now. Uh, I need a lighter. Okay, I don't have one. So my, my son will light it up. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, let's. Um, have you ever seen the rain? Okay, wait a minute. If I can get the tune into my, into my head, I will go for it. Um, hmm. Let's see. 
I'm almost there. Okay, wait a minute. Um, tell me who sings this. And then part two was, what's this song really about? Well, tie yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. Remember that one? <laughs> hey, Morna is in her bed and she's singing karaoke with us. <laughs> Come on, grab your lotion bottle and go for it, Morna. <laughs> oh, thanks. Crazy, oh, crazy love. Oh, crazy love. My crazy love. I don't, I, I, oh, Tony Orlando watched it all this morning. Oh, you did. Oh, I'm so glad you did, Dawn. Um, Kat Harvey, what up? Okay, she's answering, but coming back from the war. That's right. That's right. Which war? What war was it? Captain Antoniel. Hold on. I know me some Captain Antoniel. Um, did you know they're they got divorced? Vietnam War. Yes, that's right, Nanya. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, I missed something fast. Captain Antoniel. Hold on. I'm getting there. I'm going to get there for um, Gigi, the real Gigi. Um, by the way, that's a cool name. I like it. Abba. Oh, yes. Okay. Give me some Abba. Give me a song of Abba. I can do it. I can do it. Come on. Love, love. We'll keep it. Love. Love will keep us together. No, 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 no. Whatever. No, 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 no. Turn comes around. Singing the song. No, 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 got to be strong. Well, stop, because I really love you. Stop, mm, I've been thinking of you. Look in my heart, and it's love. We'll keep us together, whatever. How's that? <laughs> okay, we'll do some, uh, there you go. Uh, Sunny and Cher. Okay, give me a song. Give me a song to Sunny and Cher. Woohoo, we're going for it. I got you, babe. Da na 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 na. I got you, babe. Na 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 na. That's how I kind of remember of that one. Oh, okay. Let's see. This starts going too fast. Okay. I'm glad you popped in. <laughs> awesome. CCR. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> oh gosh. Look at look at Mary No Crochet. She's dancing my boat. Uh, oh yes, no, I'm drinking a sprite. They say we're young and we don't know. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Neil Diamond. I'm approaching the the stage. I know, I know. I did. I have drank a few things of water today, but I really wanted Sprite. Coming to America or sweet? We'll do Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline, bum bum bum. Good times never seem so good. Mm -hmm. I've been a blotch, dum dum dum. Uh -huh, have a uh, how good? Oh no, I look at the night, do do do, and it don't seem so lonely. We fill it up with only two. Okay, um, <laughs> living on a prayer. Oh my. Gosh, a little Bon Jovi. Woo. You know, I was secretly married to him when I was in the eighth grade. He just didn't know it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys, this is funny. Uh, okay, Sherlock, I'll get it. When I can get the get it in my head, I will. Um, so, Vinyl's film, I love concerts. Oh, I love live music, too. 
<laughs> Cat Harvey, what up? Thanks. <laughs> Sherlock is dancing. So good, so good, so good. I've been bunched. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, okay, hold on, Scratchy. We're having fun with uh, a calamity karaoke. Good to know. Now we're going to get this done. <laughs> we are having fun, huh? Uh, is that what I should do? Oh, no. Uh, I tell them it's, we're waiting for the dough to rise. So we had to do something. So we thought we were busted karaoke. <laughs> Uh, 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 let's see. Oh gosh, you guys, hold on, hold on. Um, Calamity James instead of Marfugel. <laughs> I love making some Marfugel. Sing sweet Caroline. Oh wait a minute. I I I, I said she wanted. To, oh thank you. Oh, welcome back, Carla. We're doing um karaoke, uh, Calamity style. With a, a lotion bottle is our mic. <laughs> is the gram very big and foreigner? Foreigner! You know me some foreigner, too. Um, the play, that song, Sweet Kid. That's right. The, and it's, uh, you know, the, and everybody at a Sox game knows the whole thing and everything about it. Oh. New York. New York. Mm, I know that song, you guys. I've got so much stuff running through my head right now. Um, let's see. Uh -huh. I got you back. Dun, 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 dun. I got you back. Wait, wait a minute. Let me do my share. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. There's my share. <laughs> Sticks. Oh, man. Some Steely Dan. Somebody asked for Steely Dan. We were throwing a lot of different songs at you. It is. It's it's a little Linda Ronstrat. Oh, my gosh. I remember loving her. Give me a song. I think I can probably come up with her. Oh, my God. Without thinking, I have very long hair. Banania, I used to have very long hair. And then one night about seven or eight years ago in the middle of the night, huh, I watched a YouTube video and then I got it. And I've been cutting it myself ever since. Blue by you. How's that for some Linda Ronstadt? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. I know, I just cut my own hair now. <laughs> yeah, did, how, how was my Linda Ronstadt husband? <laughs> yes, that was Linda. <laughs> he's like, I can get out of here. <laughs> he's getting, he's going to uh, smoke a stogie outside. They don't make music like that. They don't, they don't. Who did who? Lisa Folk. We are doing calamity karaoke style, or karaoke calamity style. <laughs> yeah, let's see. I can do John Denver. I can uh, throw me some John Denver. We can do some John Denver. Um, I really, he's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Um, uh, let's see. Big Bopper, the Big Bopper. Come on. <laughs> That was my mom's. My mom can do the big bopper. <laughs> it's so funny. Chantilly <laughs> uh, lace, kind of pretty face with a ponytail hanging down. We can let her walk and we can let a little talk. Oh. Make the world go round, round, round. There's nothing in the world like a big eye girl. You can make me act so funny, make me spend my money, make me feel real loose like a long neck goose. I'm a girl. Oh, baby, that's what I like. How about that? The big bopper. I don't know Cardi B. I don't know any Cardi B. I'm sorry, Carla. Was from a hotel. Oh, is that right? <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Cat Harvey, what up? You're going to have me do some Stevie Wonder. Oh, boy. Here I am, baby. Time to deliver. I'm yours. There we go. <laughs> uh, Janice Joplin. Oh, my gosh. I don't know much of Janice Joplin. I, I know enough, like, if, you know, to listen. But, um... I just called to say I love you. I just called to say how much I care. Yes, I do. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Of my heart. Do do do. Boom. There's that. How's that? Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, me and Bobby McGee. Oh gosh. Um me and Bob oh, I can't get the tune in my my head. Oh gosh. Um <laughs> the Harper Valley PTA. Okay, I can do some of that. Because I used to watch that show. Because she used to go and sing about the Hopper Valley PTA. It's a Hopper Valley PTA. I don't remember. That's all I remember of that. <laughs> oh, you want me to sing Queen? Okay. Okay. We need to <laughs> hang around, Edward. <laughs> Why come up with all kinds of stuff? Okay. Let me see some Queen. Give me a little... um. Oh, man, you got the ode to Billy Joel, to Joe. Really? I watched that movie. That was a good movie. Another postcard, Bare Naked Ladies. Do you know that? No, I don't. I don't know any Bare Naked Ladies. Um, let's see. How did I miss it? Okay, Diana, she'll be right back. If any of you guys... Um, uh, download this and make a meme out of it. Uh, 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 I'll be really sad. <laughs> Sing every word to win with it. Okay, you know what? Okay, hold on. What's the name of that one Pet Shop Boys song? Oh, my gosh. Oh, help me out. Pet Shop Boys. <laughs> Although we all are over the place. You guys are making me go, ah. I'm going to be in my sleep tonight, go, you know, singing all kinds of stuff, and husband's going to go, Pew! West End Girls. That's right. West End Girls. Uh, no, it was, um, yes, West End Girls. Oh, shoot. I have so many tunes running around my head. Okay. Thank. Oh, true. That's nice of you to sing. You're not taping me. Morna. Oh, Chad Harvey, what up? Western girl. Okay, give me the first line of the song. Just the first line of the song. Okay. I know one day in the car was doing the verses. And all. <laughs> Wait, in all the words, Slipknot, Wait and Believe. I don't know Slipknot. That's not my genre. 70s and 80s. And I know since 60s because my parents used to always force me to listen to that when I was in the car. Uh, um, okay, uh, Pet Shop Boys, Western Girls. Western, okay, give me the, give me the beginning of that. Um, Eagle, oh, Eagles. Okay, let's do a little bit of Eagles. Oh, Red Hot Chili Pepper. Oh, I used to be able to keep up with with them, but gosh, I can't do that. Pet Shop Boys. Pet Shop Boys. Yes. Um, Western Girls. I need to know the beginning of the song, and I'll sing the whole thing. No. Okay, Edward. Eagles Hotel California. Yes, of course I know that. I can't. I got to get the tune into my head. Um. How about this one? Okay. Oh, thank you, Cat Harvey. What up? You ready? Welcome to the Hotel California. Mm -hmm. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. 
renting a room at the Hotel California. How's that, guys? <laughs> Let's see. Right at the beginning, it's a lot of fast words. Yeah, but I know it. I know it. I know it. I'm on the dark desert. Uh, on the dark desert highway. Pulling in my head. On the pledge of allegiance. Rising up in the air. Wonder what that was. Um, up ahead in the distance. I saw shimmering light. My sacred. My head grew heavy and my sack grew dim. I had to stop all the night. Do, 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 do. As I slipped in the doorway. No, 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 no. No. I was thinking to myself, this could be heaven and this could be hell. Okay, I, okay. okay. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite Christmas song. Yes, I know a little bit of that. Mary, did you know your baby boy has, has brought sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know your baby boy? How's that? Okay, uh, Mary, oh, wait. I lost it, sorry. Sorry, friend. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Short change trivia. Okay. The singer of that song is Mickey Hart of Jefferson Starship. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now we're getting into the Starship. <laughs> I do all the easy riff because I can't do the original. Okay. Um, I don't know the singer at this time. <laughs> oh, gosh. You guys. Holland Notes! Oh my gosh! Give me a song by Holland Notes. Let me see if I can do that. Can you imagine if we were. Cat Harvey, what up? No. <laughs> and to any lurkers I have, I'm very sorry. We're just waiting for bread to, for the dough to rise. I did too. I forgot the rest of the song. <laughs> yeah, you did too. Okay. Yeah, she seems to know all the... Oh, I don't know all the songs. Just a little bit of them. She's a rich girl, and you go too far, because you know it don't matter anyway. You can survive on the old man's money. You can survive on the old man's money. She's a rich girl. Oh, there you go. All right. It was a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple peeper. She looked strange to me. Oh, boy. I know that song. What's that from? Mm -hmm. <laughs> one more. Let's go. One more light. Come on, kids. One more. Okay. Should we check on our bread now? <laughs> Should we check on our bread now? Okay. Let's check on it. All right. My sister loved Holland Oats. And Sister Sister was two years older, so whatever Sister Sister wanted to listen to, that's what we listened to. Oh my, our um, bread is nicely rising. Ooh. Okay, back to the kitchen we go. Okay, sun's over, kids. All done. Mm. Okay. Carla, laundry. She'll be right back. Oh, yes, I can do some amazing grace. I can't sing it like it should be sung, but I can do a little bit of it. Okay. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> my cat's page. I came in on my cat's page to be like 40. Watermelon sugar high. I don't know that I've ever met you before. Oh, a little van, uh, van. Morrison, brown eyed girl. Yes, I can do that one. Um, oh, thank you, Rhonda. 40. We hit 40. We hit 40. We hit mm, 40. 40. Uh, I wasn't really. <laughs> um, 
Oh, you're the watermelon sugar. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to carry out, quit on the um, karaoke, except for I had one request and we'll go out on this. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see, was grace that taught, you guys, I don't know all 10 stanzas, stanzas, stanzas on it. Bluetooth is dying. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> We're done with karaoke. <laughs> you guys are going to wipe me out. Okay. Let me see. Uh, young blackout is from AA stream the other night. Already at a hiking house. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, I don't know. Um, well, I know a little bit of Metallica. Um, I can't. I can't do that. Um. Okay, let's check on our bread. Now, let's get back into the cooking milk because this is a cooking show. Hmm. Oh, you're so welcome, Gree. <laughs> I'm glad that I could entertain for you, girl. It was interesting. Thanks, Nanya. It wasn't fun. Interesting can be a really uh, interesting word. But, um, let's see. What a few. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. Okay, let me get our bread. Whoa, we have doubled in size. Looky there. Here's our bread. It's risen. Okay. Let me, let me get you looking down here again, because after all, this is a cooking show. Gosh dang it. <laughs> okay, let me try. Um, you guys are so awesome. You truly are. Okay. I can't get it. To, I can't get it to work right. Okay, that's the best I'm going to get. Oh, boy. Uh, you guys. Well, heart face. I can't get it to work. <laughs> I can't. I'm so sorry, all. Okay, so it's not working. So I'm going to have to tell you just lightly. We're, well, first, we're going to open it up. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see. I haven't seen um, any other comments. Music is a great It is a great companion. With 30 chat. This is amazing. Heather, who do you? Who do you? I was watching your friend's um, podcast today, the, the Tavern. I was watching his podcast today, and I was so touched the other day that he said he was going to share me out. I thought that was cool. Okay, punch your bread. Okay, it came right out real easy. Why? Because I put some tea at the bottom, remember? Okay. <laughs> okay, so we just, when we need, we press and fold, press and fold. So we're just going to do this for a few minutes. Hootie who Heather to you. Mm -mm. How are you, girl? <laughs> uh, Josh, <laughs> I'm sorry for the delay. Oh, God. Kat Harvey, what up, is talking to Josh. I'm sorry. Uh, like it's all talking to me and it's all about me. Look at me. No. Okay. 
You guys, this is so fun. I'm having so much fun. Um, Rhonda, when she split screens with Kevin, I sing Slipknot. <laughs> I don't know. Do I know Slipknot? Uh, butter on warm bread. Mm-hmm. That's right, and the smell is terrific. Because we don't have any bread right now for sandwiches, so we had to make some. And, okay, that's all I'm going to need it. And now on the second rise, it's going to come up really fast because we, uh, corn, <laughs> gosh, my son may be able to um, do some corn. Um, so I'm just going to put it in there again and I'm going to cover it and then it's going to rise really fast and it will only take a couple of 10 minutes for it to rise. We want three rises on this. Very important. Three. Why? I, I don't know. Maybe Kevin Bacon can answer that. Um, but I don't know. But I was just, it's three. Oh my gosh, I have 44 likes. I don't think I've had that many before, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> I need 44 people like me. They like me. Oh, they like me. Uh, 45 likes. Thank you. Thank you, I I truly am touched, and and I really am. Um, I am humbled that you would consider hanging out with a dork like me. Um, <laughs> if you guys screenshot it in my karaoke, I'm gonna have your hide. <laughs> Put this back in a warm, dry place again. We're gonna wait for it to double in size. Okay, going to like on all. Oh, <laughs> You guys are so funny. He's outside smoking a, a um cigar. Uh, cat, we had it with sugar and cinnamon. Um, me too, man. Of my best friends. Oh, crap. Yeah, you know what? Um, homemade bread is just there's nothing like it. It just it brings you back to the um, everybody's had. Uh, an experience with homemade bread and they um i don't know it's just something that you should it brings you to uh it bring okay let me try this again homemade bread brings you back to a good place that a, a good experience because homemade bread it stimulates something good in your brain and you remember it okay if we came to visit you, I bet you would cry. Yes, I probably would. Yeah. I'm very emotional. I wear my emotions on my sleeve. Mm. Yes, I do. Um, I think I guess cinnamon is good for you. Well, you know what? Cinnamon toast. I put a little bit, sprinkle, put some ghee on your bread. Uh, you guys, instead of, whole, oh, instead of butter, put some ghee on your bread. and. You'll go for delicious. Smells illicit memories. <laughs> My man made bread after he retired. Pies and pecans. You know what? Well, I know. Well, I had a cooking hobby before I before we retired, and. It wasn't after till I retired that it really, I really stepped it up. And our other cat and I really did. And then um, I also had an art studio. And it was um, an outbuilding. And it had, um, I did all kinds of artwork. I would go, um, I used to call it shopping. And I would walk around the forest and whatever I saw that was of interest to me. I would um, pick it up and it would be, you know, part of my goods. And I would uh, take it with me, home with me, and make something out of it. And it did really well. Well, then when we had the house fire, of course, that caught fire too and it burned down. And um, in the meantime, because all of the stress and everything, it, it really advanced a lot of my MS. And so um, power tools are not a good thing for the community. 
nothing good for the calamity. And so then, um, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, yeah. So then when we moved into here, because we were um, building my, we were building our home, I said, you know what? Now's our time. I want to build my dream kitchen and I'm going to make a hobby out of it. And I'm going to start my YouTube channel back up. And then, you know, see if anybody, you know, takes a bite. And if they don't, that's still okay. Because <laughs> I can sing to nobody, damn it. <laughs> oh, gosh, I've been missing out on the chat. Let me see here. Um, you guys, if you're talking to me, if you could highlight my name, that would be great. Um, what? I have 50. Oh, my gosh. I have 50. How did that happen? I only have 31 people in here. It doesn't make sense. Uh, Josh, what are you? Good to see you. Diana, are you back or have you been here the whole time? 55 likes. Get the heck out of here, you guys. You guys are going to help me get to 1,000, aren't you? Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys are all the best. And does Hootie Whoville open at Calamity? We have to pack. <laughs> Kevin Bacon, you and Rhonda always have an open door. Your family. Yeah. Harley Visor, Hootie Hoo to you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. You missed karaoke with Calamity. It was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, gosh, 55 likes. Is it, is it because of the, the karaoke? <laughs> oh, lurkers. Uh, uh, some went to other accounts. Oh, you guys, thank you so much. That is so cool of you. You guys, oh, <laughs> this is fun. Uh, I got to let this rise. I, I, I don't want to keep you for another 15 minutes. Oh, Rhonda, some of us have more than one account. We, oh, thank you. Thank you, Rhonda, for doing that. Thank you all who have other accounts and went in to push me up there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you. Mm. May, we're joined at the hip. April, May. <laughs> but I bet you thought I forgot. Yeah, Harvey, what up? Okay, guys. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell you how to. We're going to let it rise again. One more time. And then when this is done rising, when it's doubled in size, you're going to do exactly what I did. And you're going to just, you know, knead it a little bit. And then you're going to take your bread pan. Hold on. You're going to spread your, I put ghee, of course, and you're going to put your dough in your bread pan. You will let it rise. Okay. And then you're going to put it in an oven of 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. Okay. And um, depending on how big your loaf is, Sometimes I've gone, you know, closer to 50 minutes, you know, so that's what I've done. So anyway, um, now that we're going on 100 minutes just to bake a loaf of bread, <laughs> um, how long does it have to rise? Uh, it takes about 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Ghee, butter, or yeah, or lard. Yeah. Um, uh, you guys, this well, well, what do we ask me to Diana, thank you, surfing Tonga. Uh, Tortuga, you're surfing Tortuga. Got it now. Oh, I'm up to 60 likes. Get the get, get the flock out of here. Get the flock out of here, you guys. Okay, <laughs> Diana. Oh, thanks, guys. For, thank you for supporting me. Edward, that's very kind words. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Oh, yes, I can explain. Um, uh, gee, let me get some. What ghee is, it is, um, it's clarified butter. And what that means is I've taken butter and um, I have, um, by heat, we did a, it's science. Hope you paid attention on a little science. <laughs> and um, at a very teeny, teeny low heat, it, um, the, the solids go to the bottom of the pan. And then you get like a, a, a yellow oil. Well, the yellow oil is the clarified butter. And um, that is what we save. The other stuff is what ends up in your arteries and hardens in there. It's bad stuff. So, and so ghee, it can be used with anything when you're cooking. I use, you saw me use it for to, um, in lieu of spraying a pan, I usually put ghee. Um, instead of oil, I use ghee. Um, instead, um, oh, I'll take a, this and I'll butter some toast with it. Yeah, I did a um, a whole video on uh, ghee. So, yeah. Yes, um, Kat Harvey, what up? Thank you for reminding me. It's um, when you, it's the, it's the, uh, when you have lobster or crab or um, any kind of bottom dweller, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, um, um, you, that's the kind of that's what you're dipping your your fish in is the clarified butter. And so you think that it's so great, and you go home and then you melt your butter and dip your stuff in it. It's not the same. Yeah. So. Um, uh, but now this is it in its solidified form. It does solidify, but it it always stays soft. Okay, I always have one that is a salted ghee and an unsalted ghee, depending on what I'm making. So, Free, did that help you at all? Uh, welcome back, Carla. Can you? No, you can you can buy ghee from the store, but it is it is very expensive. Prawn jokes now. Prawn jokes galore. Boom. Shoot. <laughs> um, Nanya, it is expensive, and that's why I make it. Kevin, uh, uh, you can buy it in some store. Yes, Kevin Bacon's absolutely right. Yeah. Um, you uh, a lot of chefs will um. When they make a steak in a uh, cast iron, and they'll use ghee at first as the oil. Yeah. Um, yes, it does. Also, thank you, Diana. It does not burn. It can. It can go. I think it's up to like 460 degrees or something like that. And it 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 can tolerate heat. Unlike butter, because butter, it, that's the stuff that we're taking out of the butter is what scorches. And we don't want that. We don't want that stuff. Yeah. She starts. In. Oh, thank you. Thank you, True. You're so cool at putting that up. Here's where she finishes it. <laughs> yeah, done. I have to do videos usually because I am a little bit chowder mouth. <laughs> Real good holiday sauce. Yes. Oh, we should do that. We should make um, uh, uh, eggs benny. Oh, I love them. Mm -hmm. So you can't make clarified butter from a stick. Yes, you can. Yes, that's how I made this one. I just used four sticks of butter that was already made, and and I melted it down and just yeah. So okay, yes, we all need to hydrate in my my drinks over there. Okay. I'm going to cut this off. And so remember, this is the last rise before you put it into here and bake it. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, uh, Harley. Um, Harley, I made a video or I did a live on it on how to make ghee. And um, uh, it's, it's 
it's on it's on my page or my channel. Um, Josh, you guys, I love you all. Why wouldn't the shrimp share his ghee? Because it was a little shellfish. It's a good one. <laughs> I'll tell that to my to my four-year-old ne little nephew. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. I love you much.